Okay. I so uh... <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. everyone, for joining. Uh, today, this meeting, we've got a lot to cover, so we are just going to go right straight into it. Uh, we have already started the recording. Right. Okay. Right. You can all see my screen, right? Amazing, thank you very much. So today our meeting, today we're going to be talking about a very exciting uh, product, which is part of the API travel, API network system. Uh, today we're going to talk about how we can be able to build our own websites, an easy way to build our own website. This is one of the products that we have. I'm super excited to be taking you through this uh, part of the company today. So without wasting much of your time, I'm going to go right into it. Right, the company is called API Network and um, our vision is to have worldwide zero unemployment. So like I said, today I'm going to concentrate on the API websites. We have got multiple services uh, products within our company. The first one is a travel booking engine. And the second one is the API website templates. And the third one is API educational products. So for today, I'm going to be concentrating more on the API website templates. Because as you know that people are not traveling much these days because of the COVID. But what we have at our finger trips is actually quite unbelievable because uh, we have got a powerful engine that can make website uh, for us, for our own, or for for business. We can use this website to actually we can make website for other people and actually make some money out of it as well. Uh, so this is the part that I'm going to be focusing more on today. So this is the API website uh, product and templates that we're going to have, and. Um, before I go right into it, I'm going to be showing you step by step by step how you can actually create your own website. But before I go right into the nuts and bolts of creating websites, I'm going to first show you about the core of our business. Like I said, it's got three parts. There's the travel and there's the website templates. And lastly, there is the API education. But before we go into those products, there's also the main part of our business whereby you can actually benefit by building teams within this business. Right. What I'm going to do is uh, so that you can see clearly, I'm going to hide my, my, my video. Right. Our flagship product, the main product, that we are proud to, to have to, to share with you is what is called the API Fund. So this website template is also uh, based on the API Fund. And the API Fund, <clears throat> the beauty about it is, is a way that you can be able to be paid daily and also be able to earn uh, some points that you can be able to travel for free. Now on the API Fund, we've got multiple levels, right? So I'm going to talk to you about these levels because for the website templates that you are going to build, it all depends on you being a member of this API fund. So you have to be a member of this API fund, and then you'll be able to have these other additional products like the website templates. If you are not a member, you're not able to benefit from making this website. So it's very important that you become a member of the API fund first. So the API fund has got several levels. It starts from as little as $35 to become a member once off right and then it goes to the other ones from traveler fund all the way to galaxy which which asked for about eight thousand one hundred dollars but for today i'm going to concentrate on the api traveler fund for 125. why because on the api traveler fund uh when you have this api traveler fund number one you get paid fast because it pays commissions of 100 dollars each you're going to see that i'm going to show you a little bit about that and then also when you've got this traveler, when it comes to the part of the API website templates, you won't pay anything extra. 
uh, if you are on this traveler fund. If you are on the Explorer, you have to pay at least $10 for the templates. But from the Traveler onwards, there's no top up, nothing that you have to pay. So it's very exciting. So how, this is how the RP Traveler uh, fund works. It's a two by two matrix. So when you become part of our team, that will be you there. You, you sign up and become a member, uh, you'll be Anna. And then you support to just bring in two of your friends. You bring in John and Karen. What happens is the first two people, your friends that come in, you are not paid anything out of these two people because you are just leveraging your business. But you're then supposed to help your friends to get their own friends into the system because it's a people helping people concept. So the moment John, your friend brings in uh, his own friends, uh, Jack and Liz, right? When that happens, Jack and Liz are going to land on the second level. So anyone who's going to land on your second level, you are going to be paid some money. So for example, when Jack comes in under John, you are paid 100 US dollars. That is super, super amazing. And when Liz comes in under John, you are paid another $100. That is awesome because by now, remember you, to join this traveler fund, you needed only $125. And now you've got $200. That means you're already in profit and you are good to go. And when Karen sends up Fred, you get another $100. That is super amazing. This is profit after profit. You now have $300 in your pocket. And guess what? The magic really happens when Karen brings in a fourth person, that is Pedro. Remember I said, this is a once off uh, payment. You don't have to pay anything more out of your pocket, but this is a two by two matrix. So when you've got two people under you and two people below each and every one of your friends, and that makes it a total of six people under you. That matrix is complete. There's no other place to put another person. So that means you have to start again. But guess what? Instead of paying again from your profit, when Pedro comes in, that's where the magic happens because it, the system automatically creates a new center for you without paying anything out of your pocket. So this is how it all works. This is the API fund. I just thought I would take my time to share with you the basic of our business because this is the building block so everything else that happens like the api website template the api education it just hinges on you being a member of this just because you are a member of this api fund you now are going to have the benefit of having to make your own website for your own and for your other people and make some additional money so i thought i should share with you uh, the basics of the api fund first because you have to be a member of the api fund for you to benefit from the next stage. So today we are going to be talking about making websites for your own, right? This is a very easy way to make your own website. We know we are in the 21st century and if your business does not have a website, you are not serious about it. So I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step, uh, process of making your own website. Right, so this is what you do. Remember I said, firstly, you have to be a member of the company. You have to join the company. So this is what you first have to do. Just go to apitravels.com on your internet, apitravels.com, and then you enter, right? You have to be invited by someone else. So someone gives you a link and then you enter. They are your sponsor. So if you are not a member yet, you just click where it says join us and you become a member. So that's the second step. The second step is just to, to join us, right? After you join and you become a member, the third step, right, is for you, because you've chosen, uh, I'm taking it that you've chosen at least the traveler fund and above. If you've chosen the traveler fund and above, it means you can now make your own websites. So what you simply do is you log in and then um, you log in on this screen. You are now a member, you log in on the blue one which says member log in. After logging in, you go on your far left. There's a menu which comes on your left. Uh, you go down that menu, you see where it says API sites. You click that. Once you click API sites, you see a screen which looks exactly like this one, which you are seeing on my screen now. Right. On this screen, what you simply need to do now at this stage is number one, uh for myself there you see i've got some coupons i've got explorer coupon because i'm also a member of the explorer fund 
and then I've got a traveler coupon because I've got the traveler fund as well. And then I've got a navigator coupon because I've also got a navigator fund. But for you, if you've got the traveler only, you have to, to click copy on the traveler coupon. Why do we copy the coupon is because remember I said these templates will be given to you by for free, but they are not free coupons because there's a value of about $297. But just because you are a member, you are using your, your coupons so that you can get them for free. Right. So the next stage after getting, uh, you click copy coupon, right? You, you copy the traveler coupon. And then after you go to where it says, click here to access websites. That's the next stage. You click that. When you click that, it will take you to this screen. That is step number four, right? You are now about to start your own website, to make your own website. This is a simple way of making website, just a drag and drop, just like you're working on a Word document. If you know how to use a, a computer or a Word document, you don't need to worry about coding or anything. These templates are ready-made for you, right? So the next stage, your step number four, is you click where it says, start now, right? There's a button here which says, start now. That's where you click, right? When you click that button which says start now, it will take you to a screen like this one. Now, this is my screen. I've already made some websites, uh, two websites already, which are already operational. I, I made this website called Global Fortune. This is my company that I have. Uh, and it's a real company, it's a, it's, a, it's a logistics company. So I made my, my own website. So you see it's licensed because I've got a domain which is already licensed. And then I've got another one which I made, uh, for the purpose of, 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 of this training, this is called uh, Global Fortune Linked PC. But I'm going to show you how step by step you can make your own website. So if you are making a website for the first time, you just have to go where it says create new site. You see there's a plus here. This is where you can, you can create as many websites as possible as you want. And you don't have to pay anything. The templates are, are there for, for you to use. So now what you do is you click where it says, uh, uh, create a new site, right? When you do that, you create a new site, it takes you to, to this site. This is where you've got all the templates. You see on, on your right there, all these are different industries that you can choose from. You can choose from a simple website, you can choose from business, you can choose if your company, depending on what your company does, if it's in the services industry, you choose where it says services, and then you have different templates for that industry. So if I choose business, if I just want any company which is in business, like a, a accountant, a lawyer, whatever, just choose business and you, it will give you templates. This is one of the templates examples, right? After, after making this, choosing a template, what you simply need to do now is you see these pictures, you can just click them and replace them with any of your pictures. And there are texts, all these texts which are on these templates. You can just click on them and then edit and write whatever you want. So it's just editing these templates, replacing the pictures with your own pictures and replacing text with your own text. So that's, that's easy. That's, at this stage, you're actually making your own website. After finishing editing this, you go to the next stage. This stage is where you are supposed to now, after having finished that editing, you are supposed to connect your website to your domain. You understand that having a website has got two parts. First, you create the, the, the actual uh, content of the website, but then you have to have what is called a domain. A domain is where your website is actually going to be resident. It's going to be sitting somewhere in the computer, in the internet on a, what is called a domain, right? So the next stage now, you, you're going to have to, to, to buy that domain because making a website is, a, is, a, is, a, is one stage, but you have to have a domain. These domains are hosted by third party companies. So what you need to do is either you buy the domain, it's a license that you buy. Normally it's a one year license, two months or whatever it is. But for today, I'm going to show you another site where you can actually host a domain for free. You can actually have that domain for free for a, specific, a limited period of time. Uh, there's some websites that can offer a service of uh, free domain. So I'm going to show you that secret as well. Right. So 
at this stage, um, right, this slide is supposed to be the, the next one. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I wanted to start with this one first. Right, remember I said I'm going to show you a, a place where you can get some free domains. Because usually, normally you're supposed to buy the domain. Domains are not very expensive. Maybe they range between $10, $15, up to $20. You can get a very good domain, right? But if you want to just test, you can get to this website, www.dnsexit.com. On this site, you can actually register. You feed in your name, your email, everything, like what is on the screen there, and you then sign up. When you sign up, right? Uh, like you see for myself, I created my user ID, Unstoppable Focus, and I've got a password. You log in after creating your details, you sign up and log in with your user username and password, right? Once you do that, uh, what happens is that this DNS, it actually uh, creates an account for you and you will be able to go into this DNS and just, choose a domain name that you want. You choose a domain name, create that domain, because the domain is going to be unique, just search uh, if it's available, and then you create the domain name, right? And once you've done that, we then come to this screen where, uh, where uh, this screen is an email. You go to check your email, uh, uh, sorry, this is actually after after you you complete your website uh, on this um, on this uh, API sites. After you finish completing your website, it actually sends an email to you. So you check your email. After checking your email, it will give you some uh, instructions how to connect your your the website that you've made. How to connect it to a domain, right? So what happens is there are actually two parts to a website the domain and the website, right? But the domain name is actually a, an easy name that you can take uh, so people can use to type when they are looking for your website. But what is your website is actually a chain of numbers, which is called an IP. So when they create an email for you, what, what happens is it actually creates an IP, which is a, a chain of numbers, which looks like this. So this number is 3496116138 is my IP for my um, website. But then it will give, this IP is the one that will be given to my domain. A domain is just a name that you can actually give to your IP, right? So that people can search for it easily because they cannot type these numbers when they are looking for a website. So they use the domain name, right? So now the step we are on now is, on this stage, I have created my domain, right? If I create my domain, uh, it means uh, I now have a name. For example, uh, this website that we are going to create, I had given it a domain name called um, Global Fortune uh, dot link PC. This 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 name that you have here on the screen is the name that I've given for this domain name, right? But what you have to do is first, you have to uh, configure this domain so that it can communicate with that website that you made in API Travels. And to do that, we are going to follow uh, the instructions which were given on the email. Remember I said there was an email sent, uh, as soon as we finished creating that website, we were sent an email with instructions. This is the email. So I'm going to take the information from this email and configure it onto our domain so that the domain can communicate with our website that we created. And after the two are communicating, that means everyone that goes onto the internet can be able to see our website. So this is how we do it. We log on to that domain where we created. Uh, after logging into this DNX domain, we go to your far left, you see where it says domains. We are going to manage the domain. So you click where it says domains. And then after clicking where it says domains, you go where it says domain control panel. Control panel is when you actually manage your domain, right? Where you edit and put the settings of your domain, 
right? So I click control panel. Right now I'm in the control panel of my domain. You see it says domain control panel. And the name of my domain is this, this one, which is the website that I, the domain name which I created, which is globalfortune.linknet, uh, linkpc.net, right? So now the next stage is you go to edit this uh, control panel. So you go where it says uh, edit DNS. If you can follow my case, uh, there's a red uh, part, some red text which says edit DNS. You click there where it says edit DNS. Because what you want to do, do is we want to edit this DNS. This DNS, it just stands for domain name server. So we want to edit this domain name server, right? How do we edit? So this is where we go back to our email. There are two records that we are just going to edit. The first one is also given on that email from, this is the email from API sites, by the way. So it will give us two records. The first one is called an A record. The A record, it contains your IP. The IP is those numbers that I said represent your website uh, on the internet. So you are going to copy this IP IP number and replace it on the A record, right? So we're going to do like this. We're going to go onto our edit DNS. And then we are go, going to, when we click edit DNS, it will take us to a screen like this one. On this screen, there will be this uh, A record, right? Host records and then A uh, with end A, A, A. This is where you put your A record. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click where it says edit. On the far right, there's where it says edit. If you can follow my case, click edit. And then that IP from the email, you paste it here. You see, I've already pasted. This is the IP 34961161138. I copied that IP from the email I got from uh, API, API sites. Before there was, there was nothing. There could be something else written there, but you just replace whatever is written there and paste that IP that you are given. So there are two records that you want. The first one is this IP that you placed here. And then the second one, you go back to the email. There's why, what is called the C name, right? On the C name, what we're going to do is we're going to take two, two records. We add a www, right, on the one part. And on the other part, we add this, uh, this text, which is highlighted in blue, which says, I am router service.com we just copy this whole blue part we just copy it right and i'll show you where you paste it right what you do is on on the on the control panel you go back to that control panel where you where, where you put your ip you go down where it says c name right below c name there's where it's called alliance on this alliance, what you do is, remember there's the www, you just type here, dub, below alliance, you just type here www, three Ws. You don't have to type the full website like this, you just type www, three Ws. And then you go where it says uh, point to hosts, right? Where it says point to host, this is where you paste this text which says I am router service.com, you copy this and paste it where it says point to host, right? You click it there. Uh, you, you click and, and, and paste it there. Once you paste it there, automatically what the system is going to do is you will see that where it says C name, it will change uh, from www, it will put automatically the full website for you. And then uh, where it says point to host, it will put your, your, the name of your domain. This will come in automatically. You don't have to type this. You just, you just paste that, uh, that text that you've got uh, from the email. You paste it there. But when you save, automatically it will be replaced by this. So after you've, you've done that, you will see that your control panel will look exactly like this. If there are any other records uh, below the C name, you just delete them so that there's only one one record like this globalfortune.net, this will be your website. And then pointing to watch, it will also have your website and then you just save it like this. So the next stage is you have to go back to your API site, right? 
uh, when you do like this on the on the domain website, you would have finished. You, you can even exit from there because what you've done is you've pointed your your IP to your website that we have created. Now the next stage is you go to your API site uh, template. This is your API site template. This is where we were on step number seven. If you are following the steps that we're doing on step number seven from the API site, we ended up on this screen, right? On this screen, this is when you are supposed to just point this website to your domain. But we actually uh, skipped this part and then went to create the domain because we didn't have the domain set up already. But when your domain is set up and it's up and running, it means the setting up, you just do it once and every time you can now edit your website at will and, and you just update it on this screen. You don't have to do the setting up of the domain every time because you just set up the domain once, but you can edit your website over and over again. Uh, it's up to you. So when you come to this screen, this is where you connect your, your website uh, to that domain. You click where it says connect to an existing domain. Why is it existing domain? Because we already created the domain. So now you are connecting to exist, existing domain. You just click this, this uh, screen, which is like a chain. When you click it, it will take you to a screen where to ask for your domain um, website address. When you click that website address, it will just connect automatically to your website. And then after that, you can even go to your website to any browser and you type your website, like I've typed here, globalfortune.linknet.com. After typing there, you can actually see the, that this is my screen. This is my website, it will be ready-made and everyone can be able to, uh, to see this screen. You see, I had created here, uh, Global Fortune on the corner. Uh, do you want to, to, to stand out? This is the text that I just wrote. If you, I will give, after this webinar, I'm going to give you a link to this website. You can be able to see it on your own. This is exactly what you will see. So this is how easy it is to create the website uh, using API, API network or API website templates. So I was moving too fast. I don't know if you've got any questions or anything that you want to, to, to ask. I'll give you this time to, to ask because I had to move so fast because our time is limited. Right now I'm, leave, I'm left with about six minutes. But at this stage, your website is already live. And even if you want to change your website, you can just go back to API Network and edit your website. And then you click where it says update. Now, because now you've already connected your website to your domain, you simply need to click update. And every time you click update, Whatever changes that we've made to your website, automatically they'll, they'll come and be updated on your website. You don't have to do any coding. If you know how difficult it is to make a website using coding, you know that this is an easy way of making a website. Just by uh, changing your pictures and editing some text and connecting your domain, everything is all set up for you. Right, so I'm going to ask you, to, you can ask any questions uh if there's any questions you are free to ask me any questions because we've got a few minutes left so with these free uh domains do you know how long you can use them for free yes this one you can actually choose a package this one you can use it for from three months to a year with this site you can use it for a year and then after a year you have to pay the annual subscription. But when you go to this website, you can actually use it for up to a year. From three months okay. to a year, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just thought I would share with you this a way of actually getting a domain for free because after having paid your API website and you use this free domain, you are not going to be paying anything. The only thing that you're going to pay is after a year, then you have to renew your domain. Oh, okay. Well, that's excellent. Yes. That's very valuable information. Thank you so much. Most welcome. So if, if you need, uh, because I think I've been moving a little bit fast, but as you can see, uh, I've done it before and I've created some websites on my own. And if you need more information, how to create it, uh, you can always get, get hold of me 
and then I can show you how you can actually do it. Uh, if you face any challenges, we can help you. But you can see you can make a website for anyone and, and, and you can make some money because websites, they go for about $200. Uh, and by just becoming a member of Happy Travels, with your once-off payment, which you can actually use to get some commissions as well, you'll be able to make as many websites as possible for anyone and you can charge them and make some additional money. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. Uh, Yuda, uh, do you have any questions or comments or anything? No questions. Hi, Silva. Thank you so much. Most welcome. For a, for a <laughs> Hi, Director Patricia. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Okay, humility, how are you? <laughs> We are okay. And uh, the princess from Uganda here. Okay, that's good. Yeah. There's somebody anyway, uh, Silva, I don't have much really. I will have to go through this presentation again. It has opened my eyes. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it, it's, it's so powerful. So as soon as you post it, I'll be able to watch it by myself and then I'll be able to have comments. But it's a, it's a wonderful one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, th thank you very much for joining. I will be able to, to post it on YouTube so that you can recap it. I know when I was talking, I was talking a little bit fast, but you can always uh, inbox me or contact me if you've got any other questions how to set up. Because what I want is, we want each and everyone to make their own, at least make their own uh, test website. Because you've got nothing to lose. We are already members and we've I've given you access to these free domains. So you can, you can actually test for yourself and create your own website so that when you are talking in marketing, you are talking about something that you've already done, not just talking, but you have it and you can even show them the websites that you've made, which is super, super powerful. True. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you so, very much for the innovation. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Director. Uh, let's, let, let's, let, let's move. Uh, this is the, the end of the presentation. If there's any other questions, you can, you can we've still got a few minutes, we can always ask. 